What up? I'm gonna count down here. I'm gonna count down. All right, everyone. Oh, no. Mm -mm. There's a lot of news we want to talk about in this one video. But I want to talk about something that we never, ever talked about on this channel. We don't talk about some wrestling in this video. But before we talk about that, we're going to talk about some news from the NBA, NFL. We're going to start with the biggest news y'all need to know. It starts with Saints running back, who's my favorite team, Alvin Damara. He was he met with Roger Dale earlier last weekend. They spoke in Alvin Damara, they fit part of the story. So 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 a few days ago, last weekend, Alvin Damara was suspended for three games because of an incident that happened last year in a Pro Bowl when he was with friends. Then he him and his friends fought this man. They beat him down pretty badly. Yeah, that's that's the incident, man. So, if you want to see that video, I ain't going to show you because it's a terrible video. I know all y'all probably seen the video because it's a terrible video. But, yeah, but Alvin Namera, it didn't spend it, but we'll be fine. But a lot of injuries have been happening for my favorite team, and we suffer, we have had some injury, but we all know what the, we all know why, we all know why all the injuries that happened to all these players, because it, it's just heat. This heat is, it's the hottest, it's the hottest summer of all time. I mean, July was the hottest month in the history. I mean, it's been so hot this summer. Man, I can't imagine how the, how hot of a summer this has been. I mean, July was a hot month. And we still have a few more months before this heat go away. So, but we'll be fine. Also, more news. Kareem Hunt, the running back. The old running back for the Cleveland Browns is visiting the Saints today. I, I don't think it makes sense, though, because, again, the only reason you'll sign Kareem Hunt, another running back, we already got Alvin Namara, Jamal Wilm, and Tendry Miller out of the draft from TCU. So why would we need four, four running backs? Yeah, well, why would we need four running backs? The only reason we will sign Kareem Hunt, because if something happened to Alvin Namara, I just say he did injury before he comes back from a three game suspension. Then you can go sign him. Or, or Jamal Williams, what if he just hurt? And if any of these three running backs, or two of them, like if any, if Jamal Alvin Amara just hurt, then then I would dis digest. If it's like a season and injury, or or like if Alvin Amara was suspended for 12 to 10 days or an entire year, or the or the season and an injury, or same for Jamal Williams. Then I'll go sign under the running back. But since we already got a then Alvin Namara, Jamal Williams, and Tendry Miller, it would have made sense. Nah, it would have made sense. It would have made sense at all. But though it's sign another running back. Another in other news, Anthony Davis got paid the bag. He signed a three year deal worth a hundred and eighty six million dollars. He still two years off when his first contract he signed with the Lakers back in 2020 in the bubble. So right now, all the money from that contract to the new one, it's a combined five-year, $270 million. He didn't pay $62 million per season. I mean, he'll be locked up at the Lakers into the year 2028. Wow. So I just have a star locked up, even when LeBron retires. So he just still have a, have a star locked up for the next five years in Anthony Davis. <laughs> He's only 30. He still have a lot left in the tank, so I think he can do some real things. <sighs> and other news, why we know Joe Burrow and, you know, some other injury. We don't know when Joe Burrow ever going to come back. Hopefully he'll be okay. Jim Ramby, we all know he died into December. But I want to talk about some of the wrestling stuff I told you back in the beginning of the video. If you, if you were watching SummerSlam last Saturday, if you were to tell me that Jey Uso was going to win, then I would say you're not crazy. That I believe Jey Uso was going to win that match 100%. That he was so hyped up 
from Friday, from the week before that, when he pinned Roman Reigns back on Money in the Bank on July 1st. I wouldn't, I, like, if you were to say Roman Reigns was going to win, then I don't see why not. He could try with Chief. He's been champion for three and a half years. He's been, I mean, he's been a champ for 1,070 days. So why would you, so of course you'll pick Roman Reigns. But everybody would go for Jey Uso in Detroit. No shoot out. I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't go for him at all. But obviously, but if you were gonna tell, but if you were gonna tell me that Jimmy Uso was gonna return, I would have said you crazy. That Jimmy Uso is still injured from that incident that happened a month a month ago when he got beat pretty badly against Roman Reigns and Sotoa. So that's why. Um, sorry about that, but we're back. But like I said, so I'm gonna just tell you what happened. So here's how it went. So this incident happened. Jey Uso. So it it was a tribal combat f- fight. I mean, anything goes. I mean, you can do anything you want. Hit him with a chair. Hit him with a stick. Hit him with a table. <laughs> anything. Do anything you want. You can even at you, you even. You can have another person come and help you. No rules, no qualifications, just none of that. It's a no rules match, no rules. The only rule in this match is you got to pin your opponent. Obviously, the one, two, three, and Jey Uso, he pinned Rummy Reigns. Like so, to throw a team in and help Rummy Reigns, but then Rummy Reigns, <laughs> what? Well, no, like Jey Uso pinned Rummy Reigns, then he would have a second. Away, he would one second away from winning, but Roman Reigns. Hit out and then Jey J- Uso, um, he did the same thing, so he did the same thing to Sol when Sol Totoa did that to Jimmy Uso. So Jimmy did the same thing to him he, as payback. And then, so now Sol Totoa is out of the picture for at least a uh, good amount of time for Jey Uso to focus on Roman Reigns and did. The Universal Championship. That's that's not it. So R- Jey Uso pinned Roman Reigns. Then he went up to the top rope. He fly like he fly like an eagle. <laughs> he fly like he was a bird. <laughs> so he fought. He he threw and he hit Roman Reigns pretty hard. So the ref said one, two, then. For some stupid reason, this man in a black jacket with a hoodie with a bandana on his face pulled Jey Uso. And I would wonder who that was. But when I saw the shoot, when I saw the the hairstyle, I just knew it was Jimmy Uso. I would say, please, not Jimmy Uso. It was Jimmy Uso. Who else would have pulled Jey Uso? Nobody. Everybody would don't for Jey Uso. <laughs> So I just said Jimmy pulled Jey Uso, and that ended everything. Jimmy super tickled, then he threw him back into the ring, and Roman Reigns was wondering who was that. Like, I, I'm assuming he figured it was Jimmy Uso, but he just didn't know because he didn't see what happened to Roman Reigns. He was out, so he just didn't see what happened. So he just took he took advantage. He pinned Jey Uso into the table, then he pulled him, and then he pinned him. One, two, three, boom, game over, fight over. So obviously Roman Reigns obviously retained after that terrible incident by Jimmy Uso. But as we know, I'm sure you all want to know why did Jimmy Uso do that? Well, he did that because it's the word is jealousy. The word again, jealousy. He did that because he's jealous of his brother, Jay Uso. To Jay, he did all the attention. He did all the high fly. He did all the attention about he's better than his brother Jimmy Uso. He pinned Rummy Reigns. I mean, he was about to beat him and did the Universal Championship. So, like I said, Jimmy said, I can have the championship, then you can have it either, my brother. So now, as expected, Rummy Reigns is going to take some time off, but he expected to be on Friday Night Smackdown this upcoming Friday. But then after that, he planned on taking a few weeks off and taking a vacation back to Hawaii, his hometown. So, as expected for the next few weeks, it's going to be all about Jimmy Uso and Jey Uso 
Dome 4 for the next month. So it means D2 will be fighting on payback on September 2nd. So like I just said, add, like I just said. So that means Roman Reigns, he said he's not going to come back until after payback. I mean, he won't be coming back until after Jimmy Uso and Jay Uso fight on payback again on September 2nd. I'm surprised that even happened. Sorry it happened because my nothing you can do about it now is over. But I was very upset when that happened. Back to the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And did the video thumbs up. <sighs> it's about all it's about time, man. Football season, basketball season about to come up. See you everyone.